Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to replace the driver's door handle. So what we've got here is a broken piece of plastic trim here, which has exposed this end of the chrome trim, which is now loose at this end. Uh, the reason why this has happened, and it's the second time it's happened, so this is a replacement handle for the original, is that uh, when I dry the car down after washing it with a microfiber cloth, the fibers are getting caught between the end here of the chrome trim and this black plastic piece to the point that uh, it's weakened and then broken away. So uh, I will need to be more careful in future when I'm drying the door handles because uh, obviously it's getting harder to source parts for this car in general, but also at a reasonable price. I've got two door handles here off a wrecked KJEI Verada. Giving them a good clean up because there was a lot of debris kind of underneath the handles here. So just scrubbed all that out and I've given the driver's door handle a polish just to show you the difference between a clean but unpolished door handle that's been sitting out in the elements for I don't know how long and the polished version here which should match up nicely with my existing handles now with this handle that I'll be fitting the key works fine in the barrel as you can see there doesn't work in this barrel uh, I suspect there's a jam because the key won't go all the way in and in theory it should because these handles are off the same car but if for whatever reason you need to fit the original barrel onto your replacement handle uh, they come out quite easily so there's just this horseshoe clip here which pops off with a screwdriver like so and then once that clip is removed the barrel slides straight out and then you can put your original barrel in and then re-fit re that clip and then you're right to go. So uh, I might do that because this one's a bit, it's a bit grubby. So I'll put the barrel from my car into this handle. All right, let's go. To access the door handle, we need to remove the door trim. So I've just got a flathead screwdriver, a small one here, and a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, the flathead is just to remove a little piece of trim that covers the screw inside the door handle. To pop the horseshoe clip to remove the window winder. And then also to remove this trim cap here. And then the Phillips is to remove the screw inside the door handle. The door cup, be very careful because these are susceptible to breaking. They're quite fragile and they're increasingly difficult to source if you do break one. So just be very careful when you're removing the door cup. It normally breaks around this area here. Uh, and also if you screw it on too tightly, you can actually break um, inside there where the screw fits. So just be very careful when you're removing or replacing the door cup. And then also to undo, there's a screw in there. So yeah, we'll get started. So everything has been unscrewed that needs to be. So now we just need to pop the door trim off. 
So there's just clips that surround the edge. So I normally just grab it from the bottom. It's like a, a place where you can actually grab the door tree. Like so. And once you can feel that all the clips are loose, you just need to push up. This is where things get a little tricky because of the lack of access to the door handle here. But I'll show you as best I can what needs to be removed. So just putting the torch up through here, you can see the, the yellow key barrel. And then to the left of it, there is a 10 millimeter bolt. And then coming around here, another 10 millimeter bolt, and then another one. So there's three in total that need to be un undone, which will loosen the door handle. But there's a couple more things you need to do. There's a black clip there, which you may have seen earlier on the replacement door handles I was showing you. So that needs to be unclipped. And then there's two rods just to the right of that uh, black clip, which go up to the door handle, which also need to be uh, unclipped. So they're, they're fixed with um, plastic clips to the door handle. So um, with a screwdriver or your thumb, you should be able to pop those clips off and release those rods from the door handle. And then once you've done all that, the door handle should come away. So I, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this in progress because of the camera angle and the torch and I've only got two hands, but uh, I'll do the best I can. With the door handle off, I'll just show you inside the door cavity. So we've got the clip, and then there's two rods. So this one here, which is the smaller diameter one, and then you've got this thicker one here. And they attach to the door handle. So the smaller diameter clips in here, which you just pop out with a flathead, and then likewise with that one there. see that easy but both can be unclipped through this access hole with a flathead screwdriver so I've prepared the replacement door handle so I've just put that green clip on there the black clip there for those two rods there's also I forgot to show earlier a uh, piece of trim that sits between the, the paintwork and the handle so just make sure that's fitted and, and uh, seated properly and uh, we should be good to go also I've uh, just given that to wipe down so I might uh, in the near future loosen all the other door handles and uh, give those a wipe down because uh, I'm sure they're a bit grimy after all these years. But uh, yeah, we're ready to fit the door handle now. Well, that ended up being a bit of a mission towards the end there to uh, get those uh, bolts seated so I could do them up. And then uh, that uh, 
the thicker diameter rod was a bit of a uh, challenge to seat that as well because you had to have the door handle pulled to a certain degree for it to then slide in. But anyway, we're finished now and the door works. So I'll uh, just replace the door trim and all the other bits and pieces. Uh, so it's just a reversal of what I showed, showed you earlier, except that uh, when you put the door trim on, you need to just give it a, a tap around the perimeter to get those clips seated. But otherwise it's pretty straightforward. And yes, don't forget, be very careful uh, installing the, the door cup. Very fragile. I've broken many of them over the years. They're hard to get. And if you can get them, they're um, pretty expensive for what they are. So yeah, just be careful there. All right, well, I'll leave it there. Hopefully uh, this has helped you out. If you ever need to uh, replace your door handle or even remove and replace your door trims. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.